G'day guys, welcome back to another No Code Knowledge tutorial where I'm going to show you how you can connect uh, external, public, or private APIs and pull that data into your Bubble app using the Bubble API connector. Now it's not too difficult, but I did have a bit of um, trouble when I didn't have much understanding about APIs and how to connect and use the keys and all that so it was a little bit of a headache so I thought I'd do a tutorial to show you how you can set that up quite easily. So I'm going to use Rapid API as an example to pull in some data and um, show you how you can get uh, external data into your next bubble app. What we want to do is go over to rapidapi.com and just first search for fitness calculator. So I'm just going to use this API um, as a bit of an example to show you how um, we can set this up. So um, once we head over to here, we can click on test endpoint. Um, and this is just going to allow us just to test to see what data comes back from this API. So if you click over here on BMI, this is the API that I'm choosing. And there's three parameters um, that uh, you can enter, um, which will spit out the BMI um, value. Okay, so to be able to use this calculator in our um, app, we go over and make sure that we've installed our API connector uh, plugin. Head over and go new. API and we can just name it um, whatever we want. Okay, now we just click on here and we go private key in header. And now it just has a little drop down field saying authorization. Okay, so we delete that and we come down and we highlight X rapid API key, paste that in, grab our key. Okay, click on code snippet and we just highlight our key paste that in um, add a shared header copy the host key and then our value which is this little URL there and paste that in so now we've connected to the API and now we need to create our API call. So we'll just call this BMI. And now our method is get. So we make sure that it's set to get. Our URL. And then our parameters is age, weight, and height. So we just add three parameters, age, weight, and height. Okay, so to make sure that we untick private because we want these values to be able to be added or selected by our end user. Okay, so, but we will, uh, to initialize the call, we will need some values um, just to make sure that the API is connected. So we got 65 and 180, 65, 180. And now we click on initialize call. We've got a success, uh, successful request result. Um, we've, it's returned the BMI. Uh, health is normal and healthy BMI range. So these are the data fields that's returned by the um, API. And now to show this within our app, we can just go to any of our pages and we're just going to add a group. Oh. Okay, so we have a group here. And under data source, we're going to say get data from external API. Select our API that we just created. Okay, and these are the fields that we used um, to test our API. And now we can just leave that and just click on click to change group A's content. So it's just going to change the type of content to BMI. So this is um, pulling in. Uh, it's basically running the API and pulling in the data um, into this group. Now we can display the certain results. So we can just add a text field here and we're going to say parent group BMI. 
um, BMI. So this will return and we can just go BMI. Now if we when we run this page, it's returned our value from our API connector. Okay, so to allow users to be able to enter in those fields, we can just add three fields, uh, input fields. So we'll go one, and we'll just name this age. Wait. And height. So we've got our three data in fields here. Change them to an integer. Give us a little bit more space. And we'll add a button. Saying calculate. Okay, so now these three fields, we can just put in some test ones. So we'll say 25, 65, and 180. Okay, so now when a user clicks on calculate, we're going to update the API data to represent the values um, that the user has, has entered in here. So we click on calculate. We want to element action and group display data, group BMI and data to display is get data from external API. And then our input fields is age, Wait. Height must be between one thirty and two thirty. Well, so I've made an error there. So we have height, weight, and age. that, center that, and now if we run that again, so 30, 78, 190, and it's updated our uh, BMI value there. So to add the rest of the content that the API generates, we can just go health, and then BMI range. Again, these fields. Guys, that's pretty much it. Um, yeah, if you like this tutorial, make sure that you hit subscribe, hit like, leave a comment. I'm pretty um, pretty keen to get more content out um, in 2022. So if there's any tutorials that you'd like um, you'd like me to create, or you're having trouble with anything, um, just leave a comment below, and I will uh, put it in the schedule. And I'm going to be really, really trying this year to get a new video out each week. So yeah, hit subscribe, and we'll see you in the next one. Cheers.